Good. So here's the middleweight contender, Chris Jocko, set to go here in round one. As good a striker, top to bottom as there is in this UFC middleweight division. But how does he approach the early portions of this one against an also dangerous striker in round one? We shall find out as Jocko takes the center of the up. Beautiful block there. Oh, that hook has been there all night. There's another one by Jocko. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here. DC, it's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Big shot here to both guys. All right, early round one action here, and somewhat surprising to see the boxer not check these leg kicks, right? He felt like it would be a factor in the fight, and the kickboxer is absolutely having his way early. It's always one thing to say what you're going to do, but to implement those things, to be able to do it against that guy is very difficult. And to this point, he has not been able to pick up on the leg kick. Jocko gets hit with it. Finish. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Immediately gets the under. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needs to go. Again, bro. Great punch landed with so much power. Right on the button. Well, he continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. Oh, that body kick landed. Two minutes to go in the round. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Get out of there. Big shot to the head. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Another punch to the head. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Oh, nice combination. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. That was a big check. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Oh, he is stunned trying to recover here. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Joy's shot is blocked. 30 seconds to go in this one. All right, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's traditional. It's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fight. 10 seconds to go in the round. Oh, 
end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. He tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jotko. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Slips. Oh, oh he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. So as a result of one of those leg kicks, he is now limping. He hasn't been rendered a one-legged fighter, but his mobility has absolutely been compromised. Well, you can check it right now. It's easy to see. You can see that this guy has struggled. You can see that he's very, very hurt from these leg kicks. Even checking the kicks now will not help because the damage has been done. Roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, so he lands. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. Jocko going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Shot goes visibly bruised on the right calf now. Those low kicks clearly are having an effect. Oh, oh he is stunned trying to recover here. Oh! That's a right hand! Oh! Good fight here under two to go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he can cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Different round and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. 
Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively here. This fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. His nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. By him there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. It's a good right hand right there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut man in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. You wonder if a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Shot goes cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Beautiful kick lands there. Well, missed on that one. Just over two minutes now to go. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to get? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do 
as a bottom spider. Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Shot goes really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. Fast jab lands him. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final belt. Oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to get wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes on. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's powerful. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, and that'll do it! Oh, my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Chong. So the Korean Superboy Do Ho Choi.